Good morning. Welcome to this webinar. I'm Ivan uh, Federico from CMCC from the division uh, Ocean Prediction and uh, Application. Uh, um, and this webinar is promoted by the CMCC in the framework of the Cascade uh, Interreg uh, Italy Croatia project on coastal and marine ecosystem. This is one of a series of webinars with expert and renowned speakers with the aim to learn, exchange methodology and the best practice. And today it is a pleasure to have with us Professor Marco Marcelli by University of Tusha. And um, before introducing uh, Marco, um, before uh, introducing uh, Marco, uh, as usual for each webinar, just a brief introduction to the CMCC. CMCC is a non-profit research organization established in 2005. In 2015, the research center became a foundation and uh, it is a scientific research center on climate change and its interaction with the environment, uh, with the society and uh, with the world of business and uh, policy maker. Our goal work aims to stimulate uh, sustainable growth, protect the environment and develop strategies uh, for the adaptation and the mitigation of uh, climate change. Okay. Uh, the center is organized in the form of a network distributed throughout the country with location in different cities in Italy. The network involves and connects public and private entities working together on multidisciplinary studies concerning issues of interest to the climate change. And uh, CMCC scientific activity are uh, distributed among 11 research divisions, uh, which share different knowledge and skill in the field of climate science. The main topic involves the economics, policy and society, the use of simulation for prediction by means of computing and modeling, the assessment of the impact, the evaluation of strategy for mitigation and adaptation in several fields from agriculture to forest, to ecosystem, uh, uh, to hydrology and uh, oceans. Uh, the main outreach is done with scientific articles for international uh, journals, also with educational program, with the events and communication activity uh, for the public at large, and with the dissemination activity like this uh, webinar. Uh, just a brief reminder on the cascade action, uh, cascade activity that will uh, target uh, in this Interreg Italy Croatia uh, project will target the integrated monitoring and management in coastal and marine ecosystem in several pilot uh, in the area of the Adriatic Sea. The main objective are to protect the marine biodiversity in the graded area, assess the impacts of extreme events on the ecosystem, set up restoration action, and also design mitigation and compensation measures. These two keywords, mitigation and compensation, are the focus of the today webinar by Professor Marco Marcelli, and I'm glad here now to introduce him. He's a full, he's professor, professor of biological oceanography and applied oceanography at the University of Tusha in the Department of Ecological and Biological Science in Civita Vecchia, uh, where he's also founder, head, and scientific coordinator of the Laboratory of Experimental Oceanology and Marine Ecology. He's affiliated at CMCC also. Uh, it will give us an insight on how quantify the compensation and mitigation measures on the basis of the ecosystem services of priority habits uh, and uh, on the basis of the species impacted and lost by human activity. It will show a test bed in the uh, Western Mediterranean Sea and it is important to see how also this approach could be extended, could be relocated in other regions such as our pilots in the Adriatic uh, Sea. Before starting and giving the floor to Marco, only a couple of information. Uh, one related to the uh, section uh, uh, question and answer. You can write your question in that uh, question and answer section, or you can uh, use the rice and uh, button rice and features. Uh, then the, this webinar will be recorded and uploaded uh, on the CMCC YouTube channel. 
and uh, another information on the next uh, CMCC webinar that will be tomorrow or when the, the focus will be the short term forecast of Arctic Ocean CIS atmosphere couplet model by Amy Solomon by, by the University of Colorado. And now, now uh, the floor is, uh, for, uh, is yours, Marco. The title of the webinar is uh, Ecosystem Approach to Design Compensation and Mitigation Measures in Coastal Marine Environment. Okay, I can stop my um, sharing and give the floor to Marco. Marco, you are currently now uh, muted. Uh, okay. Uh, dear colleague, uh, uh, good morning. Now, just for a few seconds that I will share uh, my presentation. Uh, do you see? Yes, perfect. You can go in full screen. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So, uh, dear colleagues, as uh, Ivan introduced, I, I will uh, present you a little overview on, uh, on this approach that we have developed in the last year. So, um, as you know, uh, ocean and sea play an important role in terms of our resources. Uh, are uh, for the climate and uh, are uh, home to multiple uses, for example, resources. I don't know if you know that there are also raw materials, minerals, and so on that are extracted from the sea, otherwise than uh, fishery and uh, resources uh, for the biodiversity, for culture, for the now the new uses like marine renewable energies. Uh, are, are now home for uh, maritime transport industries, uh, agriculture, aquaculture, and so on, tourism, clearly. And are really important for the climate, for the oxygen production, uh, uh, are important uh, uh, biological pump for the CO2 and uh, is a coastal thermoregulator and so on. So, uh, here you can see several uh, uses, uh, for example, uh, uh, that, that can uh, are in the same in the same place. For example, I studied a lot in uh, Civitavecchia, that is in the north of Lazio in Italy, and uh, in this place we are simultaneously on the same land, on the same marine space. The, uh, a lot of different, very different uses of the sea, from the fishery to the conservation of the biodiversity to pipeline, tourism, industries, uh, landscapes. Here is a, 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 an archaeological uh, and the, uh, heritage from uh, Puglia, not from uh, Civitavecchia. Uh, like uh, uh, to remember that this, this method is, it will be applied in every place that you want. So uh, furthermore, there are uh, new uses that now are emerging. For example, uh, marine bioresources that are a very important one. Uh, and they, in the last year, you can see that there are uh, a lot of species that are growing the knowledge and uh, we are using that, uh, for example, in uh, for the extraction of uh, biomolecules. Uh, and here you can see a list of uh, uh, biomolecules, of several biomolecules that are uh, extracted to counteract uh, from marine organisms clearly, uh, to, run, to counteract a very serious disease, as you can see, uh, there are uh, also anti-cancers and, uh, and antibacterial, anti-fungi and antibiotics and so on. Uh, uh, other uh, important uh, um, uses of the like marine bioresources uh, from the sea. You can see here they use uh, the extraction of uh, uh, biogas, uh, uh, anti-falling, uh, biodiesel, uh, cosmetics, uh, anti-aging and uh, uh, organic pesticide to counteract, uh, uh, to support uh, agricultural uh, industries. Another, another important use that now is um, 
is emerging is the marine renewable energy uh, that and here you can see several different kinds from the use of the waves uh, of current or tides to uh, produce marine uh, uh, to produce electrical energy uh, this new use uh, is not uh, uh, a use that has not impact be, uh, be attention just used to uh, the marine renewable energy systems they produce impact on the sea but uh, and on the biogenosis and so on but uh, are uh, important for the uh, co2 regulation and for the uh, climate change but uh, we need also uh, to underline that uh, uh, the coastal uh, marine domain is characterized by physical and ecological conditions that are uh, really advantage for life that also foster multiple use of uh, 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 the space uh, and of the natural resources, often generating a conflict between the different users. So to manage this conflict, we need uh, to uh, a globally ac acceptable approach uh, in order uh, uh, to finally ensure that even the weakest user will be uh, preserved. It's really important because uh, we need to preserve the uh, weakest use that uh, because the weakest use is uh, the biodiversity, is the use that the nature uh, makes over itself. So, uh, in, uh, uh, in an, uh, 2005, the United Nations launched a big program that is the Millennium Ecosystem Assessment to evaluate uh, the, the value of, the, uh, of all the ecosystems uh, along the world. And uh, the method is based to the services that the uh, ecosystem generates uh, for us in terms of, um, uh, there is an environmental framework, uh, in terms of social cultural framework, and uh, finally in uh, terms of economic framework. At the end, the last uh, evaluation uh, was closed in 2016 with the first global integrated marine assessment and uh, the ecosystem uh, services are based on uh, different services that the ecosystem produce uh, uh, free for us uh, in terms of provisioning services supporting services regulating services and cultural services uh, and this uh, are really important that we uh, know that there are several uh, uh, points that we will use to calculate the value of uh, an ecosystem. And the first evaluation uh, in the world was done by Costanza in 1997 and uh, incredible for him uh, is is true that the uh, the main uh, the main value for actor for year were not terrestrial ecosystem but was marine ecosystems. So the marine ecosystem uh, uh, are the ecosystems that generate the highest values in terms of uh, of production for the humanity. Uh, in, uh, and free. He replaced his study uh, in uh, 2011 and several uh, systems changed the values clearly uh, because, for example, you can see here the coral reefs that uh, they passed from uh, uh, $8,000 uh, of dollar for hectare for year uh, to three. 152 etc uh, uh, dollars for hectare for year because of is the, uh, the is the coral diving uh, tourism that uh, produced a, an indirect cost 
due to the fact that the people uh, to see the corals uh, spend a lot of money. And another important uh, point is that uh, now we have not more corals. So because of the surface of the coral reefs are reducing, we have a highest value of the of a four hectare for year. Uh, it's a dramatic uh, consideration. Uh, in, in Europe, we have uh, also at the same time uh, the development of the loyalty. And so we can see here that uh, has been uh, evolved the concept of the Marine Strategy Framework di Directive and the Maritime Special Planning uh, to define a criteria for monitoring the marine ecosystem and, uh, and for a, a sustainable management of the maritime, maritime spaces. Uh, both required an integrated approach uh, that are composed by in-situ observation, forecasting models, and remote sensing data. The integration of ecological data with economic and sociocultural frameworks generate and integrates with the concept of the blue grow uh, that uh, uh, we expect like the um, next 20 years uh, development, main development for uh, uh, the for the for the people uh, in terms of possibility to work and so on. so uh, to support a blue economy uh, our uh, objective is uh, to develop a multidisciplinary method to describe and monitor coastal ecosystem marine okay. uses impact and we want also to support the public administration policy, the cost of marine development, uh, including new use biotechnology and marine renewable energy. Uh, the problem is now is uh, uh, in world uh, scale to have a, a, a method uh, that will be that it, it will be possible to apply it in every uh, part of the world. And uh, this method is the evaluation of the ecosystem services. Uh, and in this case, uh, we use it to calculate the impacted habitat and impacted species. So for example, you can see the intermediate service and the final services that are the ecological processes. In this case, we use it the benthic biosenosis, like the um, spatial unit to be up to where we will apply uh, our method. And uh, in this case, the benefit are in terms for the humanity are in terms of carbon sequestration, water cleaning, erosion control, bioremediation, food production, raw materials, genetic resources, recreational potential, cultural and aesthetic potential, and uh, a two uh, provision. Uh, uh, our, uh, uh, our approach uh, is, uh, is the same, um, really similar to, to uh, to the method that uh, has been developed by Stanford University that has developed the INVEST model. Uh, INVEST that we will apply in this case for the Castal Blue Carbon model. On the right, you can see uh, our methodology uh, applied to CO2 sink, bioremediation, food production, erosion production, and O2 protection. We will, uh, we will uh, apply uh, this method, integrating the invest model with uh, other calculation to the production of the uh, ecosystem services of Poseidonia Oceanica. So we have built, uh, utilizing the, uh, the public data uh, is the work that we, have uh, that we are developing with ISPRA. Uh, the Italian uh, uh, Agency for uh, Environment of the uh, Environmental Ministry. And we, here you can see uh, we had the, so the, mm, the maps of the, of the Posidonia Oceanica in, uh, in the world uh, Italian coasts. And we will, uh, and we have applied 
uh, our uh, calculation method and uh, invest to, to, to calculate, uh, for example, the CO2 sinks, the ecosystem services for every uh, part uh, of the, uh, for every region of Italy. And uh, uh, in this uh, in the table uh, uh, here, you can see, for example, uh, the, the values of the ecosystem services for the five services that we have uh, utilized. Uh, and uh, where you can see the euros produced for hectares for year. Uh, considering that um, uh, uh, every region, it's the, ma the main value for every region, considering all the samples that we have considered for the calculation. So at, at the basis, there are on-site measures. Uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in particular, for example, for the Puglia region or Puglia region, you can see here uh, the map of the Posidonia Oceanica that map in terms of different biogenosis of the Posidonia and uh, or fascias. And uh, here you can see the, uh, the production in terms of varro for hectares for uh, every uh, service that uh, uh, Puya produce uh, for bioremediation, erosion protection and, and so on. And the, uh, here are the area of the uh, uh, our site of uh, community uh, importance for the European community importance, our special site uh, to be protected in the in, uh, in the region. And here you can see that the, the values, for example, for every year uh, uh, for Puya, uh, we obtain uh, is the surface of Posidonia is the main value of the producing of the euro that uh, Posidonia produces for every hectare for a year. And so we have uh, 525 uh, more or less millions of euros for a year that Posidonia Oceanica produce free for us. Now we will apply uh, to uh, Civita Vecchia, uh, that is um, the site that we have applied to calculate the, um, uh, the, the damage produced by uh, the expansion world, is a case history that we now uh, see. So uh, here there is a more detailed map of the biogenosis of the Civitavecchia uh, Marine Coastal Area. And you can see uh, a, a higher detail because we have to have this detail, we need to do a lot of on-site uh, measures and studies and so on. For every biogenosis, we calculated the, the impact and in particular, uh, uh, considering also the, the data that we acquired in uh, the last 20 years, we, we consider the, uh, the progress of expansion of the, of the, of the Civita Vecchia on the marine habitats. You can see in, uh, in different color, different, uh, different, uh, different impacts uh, uh, of, the, of the different phases of expansion of the world, of the works. In particular, for example, uh, here you can see in this part, uh, you can see the impact of the direct impact of the, of the expansion of the port on, on uh, for example, on coralligenous biogenosis on Posidonia Oceanica and so on. So, uh, Looking uh, to the biogenosis, to the port expansion, we uh, calculated the surface direct, directly impacted for Posidonia and other uh, kinds of, uh, of, uh, of uh, substrates. Uh, and for example, the total impact of the, of the, of the port expansion of the, on Posidonia Oceanica are 15 uh, hectares for year, so that they produce 
uh, it's the, the, the main value that we have estimated uh, of the damage of uh, Posidonia Oceanica for, uh, the, uh, for in, in the area of Civita Vecchia is uh, 16,000 of euros for hectare for years. So uh, the same works we have done for corals. So clearly we have to calculate for all the species, the, uh, the services that every species produces is more difficult for, uh, to calculate for, uh, the reef, uh, for the impact on, uh, on, uh, on reefs. And uh, we developed an integrated method that take into account several experimental activities to study the water column first, to identify the habitat. Uh, uh, we, we think to make several experimentation on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, with pilot plants, uh, and uh, the evaluation of the ecosystem services for every species and so on uh, that has impacted for the, uh, for the ecosystems and so on. Numerical models uh, play an important role because they can support us uh, to, to identify, for example, the area to, for the ecosystem restoring. It's very important because we, we needed to have, uh, we can study the sea, but we cannot have uh, an image of the futures. Uh, the last, the, the, we have just one instrument to predict the future that are uh, numerical models. And so uh, we, we, are, we, are, we are studying this area, uh, taking into account with, uh, with the CMCC numerical models of uh, waves, current, uh, solid transport, uh, pollution transport, and so on, uh, to, to, to develop uh, a monitoring programs, uh, an early warning system to counteract immediately if there is a problem, a problem in, uh, in the port. And uh, here you can see the, um, that we have uh, uh, also a lot of preliminary studies and so on. We we think to uh, integrate our information with the environmental ministry in terms to to discuss uh, com, uh, compensation measure to, uh, to 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 study a monitoring uh, system and so on to arrive to to the first start uh, of the activity to have a monitoring an integrated monitoring system and other and other and other, and other uh, parts of this integration uh, integrated integrated uh, uh, approaching system that are placed on the on uh, on the site to help the exactly the the uh, we. we the, the image, the synoptic image of the works of the ecosystems and of the uh, propagation of, uh, of pollutant, of the modification of currents, of the waves and of the climate change variation of the waves and currents variation due to the climate change because they can uh, interact with uh, the compensation measure and uh, they can destroy our uh, our uh, our uh, activity of of uh, of restoration and so we identify uh, by means of uh, uh, habitat and community uh, characteristic and of the numerical modeling, five areas that are uh, able to receive uh, restoration for Posidonia Oceanica and four sites for reefs. So for example, you can see uh, the interview of uh, ecosystem restoration that has been done by Eugenio Fresi in Santa Marinella. And that uh, and uh, and exactly you he used exactly the same approach. 
numerical model, habitat knowledge, and so on, and monitoring. And uh, you can see several modules that are prepared by local sense uh, that are posted on the bottom. Uh, so you, it's like a flat uh, area where you can put inside the, the, the plants uh, of Posidonia Oceanica that will be destroyed by the port uh, works. So uh, you, you, you take the Posidonia Oceanica that will be destroyed and you save uh, transplanting them in, in another place that you have decided a priority uh, with uh, monitoring, uh, with uh, a, an integrated system based on, uh, on all the things, the things that I have said before. So you can see the results, for example, in one, uh, one place, you can see the, the, the propagation of the, of the plant in the, in the area. Uh, and you can see that uh, it was uh, the 60% uh, is exactly the percent that you have when you will transplant a forest, uh, trees, uh, uh, and so on. So exactly the same. Also, if in, in the sea is, uh, is, uh, is more difficult. Uh, uh, you, this, uh, uh, oh, the, the monitoring will have, will need 10 years now. Uh, uh, we, are, we are continuing continuously monitoring what uh, the fresi uh, transplantation uh, uh, are, are going on and it's very very important uh, Posidonia Oceanica meadow now um, and um, the concept is habitat restoration not transplantation of a big area because in this case it was uh, a ruin. In every case, you, they, that several other uh, uh, transplantation experiments uh, with the big area, it was uh, it was dramatically destroyed by the sea. So the the restoring techniques are more effective, and you need to use strongly the mathematical model uh, to to understand where the uh, best area to, to, to receive restoration action, in conclusion. Uh, in, in general, uh, while the nature values always grow, because, because, because the nature produces more is beautiful the nature, more you have biodiversity and so on, the nature values grows, be sure. Uh, uh, on the other side, we have that the value of industrial settlement uh, often collapse. So thank you for your attention. And uh, if you have several question, uh, thank uh, you, Marco. Top share. Okay. Th thank very, very interesting. Thanks, Marco. Very interesting really a, a large overview and also the specific uh, case uh, also this con uh, concept of uh, economic ecology ecology uh, it's uh, really uh, interesting to, to 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 see how could be uh, well uh, linked also with the uh, with ocean with geoscience and uh, okay we have uh, some question uh, i'm going now to to organize so, uh, first question by Michaela Mircea, and uh, how was estimated the, the value of uh, recreate, recreation services? Uh, okay. I could aggregate this also uh, with another question, sorry, Marco, uh, uh, because uh, Giacomo Cozzolino asked also how you estimate the, the service related to the coastal erosion. So uh, these two questions, one on the recreational services and the other on coastal erosion is what, uh, what they want to know how, how should be estimated. So, uh, touristic uh, um, uh, evaluation 
and cost allegation. Okay, the tokenistic evaluation is based on. Uh, we also uh, we also used a, a methods uh, 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 to estimate not only the the tourism uh, the tourism. Uh, yeah, the tourism attraction, but uh, uh, for example, also the value for the, the, the coastal uh, areas like uh, aesthetic values and so on. Um, in, in particular, the touristic evaluation uh, in Chiracchia, we, we based uh, to the use of the sea by tourism. So uh, there are areas that are more frequented, for example, scuba diving. We, we collected all the data from uh, scuba diving and so on. And from uh, um, uh, the use of the sea in a different, uh, in different area. And we have so uh, uh, a baseline in the, uh, uh, that there is a baseline that is the, um, the minimum value that is the, uh, in every place is the same. And uh, there are places where we have a highest value from tourism. And uh, when you compute the tourism, you have also to analyze, for example, the different uh, uh, valuation of the use of uh, several cultural and uh, uh, services, uh, libraries and so on. It was a, a long, uh, a long way <laughs> for us. So uh, we cooperate with uh, an architect that uh, managed this pa this part uh, of um, of the analysis that we uh, and we compute. Uh, I have also the several slide, but uh, no, it's not the place now. But I am happy to to uh, we presented this work to AGU. Uh, session and um, so it's a uh, it's a way composed by a lot of little parts that we uh, we used to to calculate the value uh, of a, of a touristic uh, uh, that is based on the difference from the dead place on and another one. For the coastal erosion, there was a slide. Uh, in the slide, I uh, was a very, there was not a lot of, uh, sorry. For okay. example, at the national, at the national. A uh, question are coming. Yes, for uh, just one moment, I share the, for the, I don't remember, oh, share screen, sorry. Yeah. Okay, you can see here, uh, the, um, for example, is the computation that we have used, uh, the percentage of attenuation uh, uh, that we, for the national, it's, it's different the scale for national, computation and for local computation we have the data for national computation but the approach is the same we use the copernicus model and uh, in terms of uh, uh, attenuation uh, relating to the value that we need to 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 build uh, coastal uh, submerged reefs uh, artificial reefs uh, submerged to protect the coast. So uh, if I have uh, Posidonia Oceanica, for example, uh, I have, uh, 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 um, and I destroy the Posidonia Oceanica, I have to put uh, on site a submerged reef. And uh, in this case, uh, this work has value and uh, uh, and uh, four hectares and so on, four hectares of, of, cost of, of coastal protection. And so we compute in this way. And, uh, and uh, please, the other question. Okay. Okay, yes, thank you, Marco. Uh, I want to just connect to this question to, to, 
to say to have a, a comment or a curiosity. Uh, uh, is there the possibility, is there a way to quantify, quantify a, a single driver of the entire value for a specific natural uh, habit? That's, uh, for example, I want to just quantify economically only the value of uh, a seagrass a natural habitats uh, that has in, in, uh, in the attenuation, for example, of wave, uh, in the attenuation of storm surge. So uh, this matrix could be okay. resembled also only with the one driver. I mean. Okay, uh, no, uh, one drive, no, because for example, uh, in terms of uh, counteract uh, the coastal erosion, you have uh, several effects that you uh, need to, to take into account. Uh, for example, the sediment trap, trap effect of the Posidonia Oceanica, uh, the interaction with the currents, uh, the modification of the substrate, uh, and the reduction of the wave motion, yes, is one of the drivers that, that contribute to compute the uh, the um, the, uh, the, the, uh, the contribute of Posidonia Oceanica to coastal erosion, you need several drive, and you need the several information. You cannot you cannot uh, take into account just one variable, but it's important to use uh, uh, in this case, uh, for example, the models to simulate what will happen to Posidonia Oceanica if if change one of the driver, for example, if change, if in future uh, waves will change, we can integrate this uh, uh, this uh, this new drive inside the model, and we compute what happened to the to the to this value. I don't know if I um, yeah yeah that's clear. Uh, so in the invest model, I assume that you can both integrate the 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 fields from uh, wave and for currents from Copernicus, you can provide different uh, data set. It's not only, models. yes, it's not only investment model, but also oh. in other calculation, uh, okay. you need to have all this information. Okay, let's come to the other question. Uh, Manuel Castrillo Duran, um, how long has this framework uh, been achieved and eventu eventually the monitoring of its results has been suspected, I assume the, the, uh, the test bed of Cittavecchia, and how have the variables of climate change events has been uh, contemplated? Uh, so I, I don't understand very well the, the, your voice, but uh, okay, I, so. I, I, think, I think to understand the, the, the substance of the, of the question. Uh, what is expected uh, uh, in relation to the test case that you showed, and if the variable of a climate change has been taken into account? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we. Uh, uh, um, we, we expect we will monitor. Uh, the uh, ecosystems uh, for uh, at least 10 years. So this kind of project, uh, if, we, if we will uh, uh, in, in a, looking also to the past, uh, are, uh, we are 20 years that we are monitoring the, the coastal area. In, uh, in this case, uh, uh, you need a long time and you need to repeat a uh, measure of the, of the habitats in terms of uh, edaphic characteristics of the uh, community in terms of uh, uh, biogenosis, uh, 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 community distribution of uh, and abundance of the species. It's important uh, species distribu distribution and abundance because the Posidonia oceanica is, uh, uh, is not only a species, but is also an habitat. So because it's uh, uh, also an habitat, inside the Posidonia oceanica, you have Posidonia and other species that, uh, that uh, for example, they grow up on, uh, on uh, epiphyte uh, species and so on. Uh, 
which kind of variables we monitor are variables that uh, will be uh, that are now and will be in future integrated in the uh, in the numerical model that are waves uh, and uh, station measure station like for for the measure of the of uh, of um, of uh, 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 currents uh, uh, tied clearly. Um, uh, we have a, a meteor station inside the port. We have three coastal meteor meteorological station. Uh, um, uh, uh, char physical characteristic of the sea, and for example, temperature, salinity, and so on. Uh, oxygen, pH, uh, turbidity. Uh, chlorophyll A. Then we take uh, also samples for uh, the, the measure of, uh, uh, of, uh, of the species, uh, the characteristic of Posidonia oceanica, uh, in several parts of the morphology of the bottom. And uh, uh, it's, uh, it is really important to measure also uh, the uh, the species uh, ecosystemic uh, uh, functions uh, for our, with the benthic chambers and so on, not uh, in, a, in a ready place, but in, uh, in some place that you, use, uh, you will use uh, as, uh, as a reference point of evolution. And also, uh, also the, the, uh, the, the variation in the composition of the species because it's important for alien species that uh, we, we, we see how they are changing in, the, in this area. I don't know I, if, I, if it's clear. Yeah, this is clear at least for me. Uh, then the, the question also referred to the uh, driver of uh, variables of climate change because it's been uh, contemplated in the approach. Uh, climate change by, for example, sea level rise in the approach, for, for example, invest. Uh, Marco, I miss your voice, at least. Yes, the, the, yeah. the, tide, the tide station, <laughs> yeah, it really uh, is, a, is a tide station, but it, uh, it measures the sea level. Okay. Uh, so we, we measure sea level, waves, uh, uh, current, and meteorological wind uh, pressure uh, on okay. the meteorological uh, drivers. Uh, okay. Uh, then we have other question. Okay. Very uh, congratulations, fascinating talk. Someone that asked if the research is uh, available and the link to download. Uh, you can then share with us. Uh, then another question related to the uh, continuity in space. Okay, um, arbor expansion will de degrade some marine zone area, but considering the resilience of the ecosystem, would it not automatically create a new marine ecosystem right next to the expanded areas? So I want to elaborate a bit between the continuity if I uh, the, uh, if I impact uh, an area, uh, what's happened to the closest area? Uh, this is the, the, the synthesis of the question. I like this clear, Marco. I'm sorry, Ivan, but I, uh, I have problem with your voice. Okay, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Also, also, okay. uh, also the, the 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 other question. I had the problem uh, okay, cool. uh, with, with the, 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 to hear your voice. So, sorry for this. Probably uh, something for my connection. Um, the question is the uh, if I have a, a, an area that is impacted by the arbor expansion, what's happened? What is what is the uh, how the ecosystem in the area that are closest uh, um, how move this ecosystem, how change this ecosystem. Okay, it's really clear. The, the question is a, uh, is a good question because it's, uh, it was uh, uh, our question, uh, a lot of you uh, ago. 
So we take all, all the, um, all the uh, source of uh, uh, environmental impact in the area, not only the port uh, uh, works, but uh, the port, uh, the port development, the rivers, uh, other industries that are in the area, fish against so on. And we consider a, a, a big area, a big area, not only the, the area uh, of the port. I have a, a, a slides. In the, uh, in the extended area, I know uh, I will share the, the, the area. Uh, sorry. Okay. Okay. In the extended area, it's the port. Uh, oh, the surface of the extended area that we have considered, uh, it, it was designed uh, basing our consideration on uh, a numerical model, numerical modeling that has been applied in this area, considering not only the situation, the actual situation, but also the situation that we will have uh, looking to, for, for the first question, I think is important also, looking to the, um, the changing uh, of climate. So, we considering the drivers of uh, climate change by large scale models. We applied locally, considering the effect of, of, uh, of, the, of these works and the other drivers. We have a river here, we have another river here, we have an uh, industrial plant here and so on, tourism here and so on. Uh, uh, and th there is also a big problem. It's not in fact uh, only uh, uh, due to the port expansion, but also due to the um, fishery, because they disturb the Posidonia Oceanica they, several times. They, they have impact direct in several parts due to illegal fishery. Huh? And uh, another, another problem is uh, due to the, um, the tourism, because with uh, little boat, uh, the anchoring of little boat, they, 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 they destroy in several parts uh, Posidonia Oceanica. So we consider, uh, we consider the area basing on a mathematical numerical model, the effect uh, of the area, uh, an extended area, uh, working not only to the port activities, but also to the whole system of drivers, of stressors that impacts on uh, uh, the same ecosystems. I, I don't know if I'm clear. It's okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Uh, so this, uh, about the continuity, then we have uh, several other questions. I try to select some, uh, some of this since the time is uh, now running. Uh, okay, okay. Are the economic values as formulated by you now generally accepted by European Union and the United Nations? Uh, and sorry, Ivan. Uh, again, sorry. <laughs> I try again. Okay, can you switch up your camera, Marco? Because probably can be some finger connection uh, in my voice when we are talking. Okay. okay. Or are the economic values uh, as formulated by you now generally accepted by European Union and the uh, United Nations? Okay, so by United Nations, <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting uh, point of view. Uh, uh, by United Nations, I don't know, because we have used the United Nations uh, uh, approach because the invest project is a, 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 is a project that uh, is a model that uh, uh, is part of the uh, natural capital project, the world natural capital project. So uh, uh, the method we, that we have used is the contrary. We have used a method that uh, has been 
developed by uh, uh, other colleagues and uh, uh, like Costanza and so on, and has been uh, uh, applied to the to the Magin uh, evaluation at world scale by the United Nations. In for what is the uh, European Community? Yes, we have. Uh, 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 we presented uh, several times ago a project in Italy because there was uh, a, a pilot uh, from the uh, European community on Suita Vecchia and they wanted to know which kind of, uh, uh, of uh, idea uh, the, uh, the Italian ministry has on the um, Italian environmental ministry has on the uh, on uh, the the problem uh, of the expansion of uh, Chivita Vecchia, so we uh, wrote uh, uh, this kind, this idea exactly this one, and they have approved. Uh, so the 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 general director for environment director for environment of the uh, European Community, they say yes, it's a good approach. Okay, so uh, very last question, Marco, because. Uh, then we have other questions that we can share also with you, collect and to provide to you. But this is the last, uh, since we are, we are going out of time. Uh, what are, you mentioned before a bit, but just to elaborate more, what are the main aspects to take into account in order to select the best area for Poseidonia Oceanica reforestation? Okay. Uh... Uh, okay, it's it's a good uh, 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 it's a good question. Uh, in um, uh, in real, uh, there is not only uh, one aspect. Uh, the first there are there is a, a category of aspects. The first one, the first selection is uh, is uh, dynamics uh, uh, conditions marine dynamics condition waves and currents the first one after in the area that uh, for this point of view uh, considering that you need before a situation of an actual situation of the habitats of the marine habitat the distribution the actual distribution of Poseidonia oceanica so uh, you need to have all this, all the aspect uh, under control, you need to know uh, the density, the characteristic of Posidonia oceanica, the characteristic of the habitat, and so on. When you know, when you have all the aspects, you need to use mathematical models, numerical models. Sorry, <laughs> uh, the first step. The overlapping of habitats characteristics and numerical models can uh, uh, you can identify by this uh, this uh, two, uh, by overlapping uh, those these uh, these features you can identify uh, the best area one two three at this point you need to interact with fishery with tourism with uh, with authorities local authorities to define the, the final area of restoration. Okay, okay very clear. Mm, uh, we are off, out of time. Uh, I wrote a, a question by my side. Uh, how is flexible this approach? How we can uh, move, transfer, relocate in a different region? Uh, what is the after effort that you, you plan, for example? The region should be um, uh, ecologically uh, similar to the one that you proposed, or could be uh, that could be done also for uh, for uh, different uh, 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 habitats and also other uh, type of uh, biogenesis. Uh, so the relocability and then the, and the uh, transferability of the approach. Yes, yes, uh, you can do. Uh, uh, because the method is based exactly on the concept of biosynosis, as uh, because the biosynosis is the spatial unit of reference for the calculation. So you need to know which kind of uh, biosynosis, as I say before, 
and, uh, and, and then uh, you can calculate for each biocenosis on the basis of uh, habitat community, the list of species and so on. And then you apply mathematical models and so on to, to have, uh, you need the drivers, climate drivers and so on. All that, that are things that we have already discussed. Okay, so thank you, Marco. Mm, I think we can stop here. Uh, I want to uh, I want to give you uh, uh, other question, but now we will stop. Uh, it was a very fruitful discussion with interaction with uh, uh, several questions. And uh, so uh, this is the first of the webinar that we had for the Cascade Pro project. Uh, in uh, next month, we will other other webinar uh, will follow, us. and uh, again we will invite you, Marco, to in our group of work. And uh, it's a pleasure to, uh, okay. for us to, to interact with you. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you and uh, good uh, day to everyone who is uh, in uh, in uh, in the room. Bye. Bye.